In this video, we'll look at an example of how the cash flow matching strategy is implemented. So as of August 2019, the schedule of payments due on the company's liabilities are given as uh, 2.83 million one year from now, 4.14 million two years from now, and 3.75 million three years from now. So the interest on government bonds okay, are assumed to be paid annually in August each year. And we have a selection of three bonds. Uh, the one-year bond pays a coupon rate of 2.1% and the two-year bond pays a 3.5% coupon rate and the three-year bond pays a 5% coupon rate. So let's say if you want to construct a portfolio of government bonds that will allow us to match okay, the liabilities as it comes due, then how much par value is required okay, for each government bond. So keep in mind that when you calculate the cash flow of a bond, uh, there is always, for example, if I buy a three-year bond, Okay, there is always the coupon, the coupon, coupon and coupon. And then in the final year, there is always the par value. Okay, so there's always the par and the coupons. Okay, so of course, to calculate the coupon, the coupon is based on the par multiplied by the coupon rate. Right, so in this case, uh, we usually start by looking at the last cash flow or the final cash outflow okay or liability which is uh, in this case 3.75 million so we'll denote this as a uh, year one year two and year three so let's start so in this case uh, starting from year three okay or i'll just write august 2022 which is a uh, year three so in this case uh, we will need the par value so the par value plus the par, va uh, par value uh, multiplied by the coupon rate. A uh, coupon rate for the three-year bond is five percent, so that's uh, five percent. And the total cash flow here from the bond has to be equal to the cash outflow, which is three point seven five million. So in this case, the par value required for the three-year bond will be three point seven five million divided by one point zero five. Okay, so if I if we calculate that, uh, we will get. So in dollar that would be three five seven one four two nine. Okay, so if I round it, I'll get four two nine. So of course, uh, in this case, uh, this is the par required, the par value required for the three year bond, and of course it will have a coupon. Uh, the coupon in the for this bond will be the par value multiplied by the coupon rate. Okay, so 3571429 times 5%. So in dollar terms, that is 178571.45. Now, we're done with that. So now we move on to the second year. So we move back to August 20, uh, 2021 now, which is uh, T2. So in this case, uh, how much do we need in 2021? So not forgetting that uh, the coupon in year 3 will also occur in year one in year two so the coupon in year three will actually offset okay uh, part the part of the cash outflow in 2021 so in this case the amount required okay the amount required in 2021 is actually the cash outflow which is 4.14 million so partially this is covered by the coupon amount so i will just minus 178571.45 so that will be equal to 3,961,428.55 and then we calculate the par value for the two-year bond in the same way as we did for the three-year bond so we'll take the cash required which is 3.961 million and then we'll divide by one plus the coupon rate for the two-year bond So we we'll get three eight two seven four six seven. Okay, then uh, the coupon for the two year bond will be the par value multiplied by the coupon rate. So that will be hundred and thirty three thousand nine hundred and sixty one point three five. Okay, and then we lastly we cover the last period August 2020 which is our first year okay and then I uh, will calculate the amount required so that will be the cash outflow for the first year which is 2.83 million 
minus the coupon from year three, the three year bond. So that's our 178571.45 and then minus the coupon from the two year bond. So that's 133961.35. Uh, so that will give us Two million five hundred and seventeen thousand four hundred and sixty seven point two. Okay, so the power value of the one year bond required will be the cash amount. Then we divide by one plus the coupon rate for the one year bond, that's our two point one percent. So that will be equals to two million four hundred and sixty five thousand uh, six hundred and 88 okay so that's the power amount required for the one year bond so if you want to complete everything we get the coupon for the one year bond okay just to do it uh, just to get make it complete so then uh, that is the power value okay multiply by the coupon rate 2.1 percent so that will be equals to $51,779.45 So the question here is uh, will we have enough to cover for the outflows? So let's do a quick check. So what's the total cash flow in year 1? So the total cash flow in year 1 will be the power value, okay, which we'll get. So that will be uh, 2465, uh, 688. And then we add in the coupon for the first year, which is uh, 51000 Seven hundred and seventy-nine point four five plus the coupon for uh, the two-year bond, which is one hundred and thirty-three thousand nine hundred and sixty-one point three five, plus the coupon for the three-year bond, which is one hundred and seventy-eight thousand five hundred and seventy-one point four five. So if I were to add all these up, So that will give us two million eight hundred and thirty thousand and twenty-five cents. So there's an extra five twenty-five cents there. And then for the second period, okay, we'll take the par value for the two-year bond. So that's uh, three eight two seven four six seven plus the coupon for the two-year bond. Okay, which is uh, one three three nine six one point three five plus uh, the coupon for the three-year bond which is 178,571.45 Okay, uh, so if you sum up everything, we will get uh, 4139, $999.80 So this is very close to uh, 4.14 million Okay, and then uh, of course the, the, uh, the excess 25 cents here will be reinvested to cover for the shortage of 20 cents here and then the last part is to get the cash flow for year 3 so we take the par value in year 3 okay that's uh, 3.571 million okay 429 plus the coupon for year 3 is 178571.45 so that will be equals to 3.75 million so that's about uh, 3 million seven hundred and fifty thousand okay and 45 cents uh, again there's an excess of uh, 45 cents there okay so everything is uh, covered for of course there's some excess cash at the end okay but uh, that will be uh, some minimal uh, reinvestment risk there now so the key to answering questions for cash flow matching is always to start from the last cash flow and we slowly work uh, backwards okay to get the we require par and coupon.